Hi, this is Nancy Buswell from the 10 Questions ESL podcast. This is the Listen and Repeat podcast, episode number two. We will have a dialogue where you listen and repeat after me, and I will make some comments about what we're saying, and we'll have some extra practice with some of the sounds. Uh, it can, if it is not stressed, that is, if it's not an important word in the sentence, is is a lot shorter, and the sound, the ah sound, goes away. It's more like a kin, kin, and you'll you'll hear that in here. Also, we'll have uh, got to, got to becomes gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go. And our is actually our. O u r our is is usually pronounced r. The unless it's stressed for some reason. Okay, so let's start. The, the dialogue, and uh, listen and repeat. And like I said, I'll explain some things or point out some things and also go over some of the sounds a few times to help you do that. Now, as you know, or as you may know, I am American, so if, if you don't want to sound American, you may not want to, <laughs> to listen to this. You may want to spend extra time watching British or Australian or Irish or South African, whatever kind of English you want to sound like. Uh, you might want to watch those TV shows or, or those movies. Um, because, of course, I, I, have American, I speak American English with a tiny, tiny bit, <laughs> uh, maybe more than a tiny bit, but a, a little bit of a Southern accent. It's not strong. Uh, Americans can hear it, but it's, it's a mild Southern accent, so you really don't have to worry that you'll you'll sound like you come from Atlanta or or Texas or somewhere. It's it's not a strong accent. So let's go on to the dialogue. Do you want to go to the pool tomorrow? Do you? Do you? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to go to the pool? To the pool? Yeah, I've said I said last week to is almost always ta ta. To the pool? To the pool tomorrow? Do you want to go to the pool tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. I can swim, but I can't swim well. So, I can swim. So that can turns into can, can. I can swim, but then can't is is pr- usually pronounced correctly. I can swim. I can swim. But I can't swim well. But I, but I, but I can't swim well. It makes me nervous. I can swim. Let me say that again. I can swim, but I can't swim well. It makes me nervous. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We can just hang around the side of the pool. We can just. Actually, just often doesn't have the T. We can just hang. We can just hang around. We can just hang around. We can just hang around the side of the pool. You know? You know often changes to, you know? You know? Drink something and watch people. And usually does not have the D. It's often shorter like an or un, an, un. And watch people. We can just hang around the side of the pool, you know, drink something and watch people. Yeah. We can sit in those nice, comfortable chairs. We can sit. 
We can sit. We can sit. We can sit in those nice, comfortable chairs. And, you know, comfortable is spelled with an M, but I, I say it with an N. I think if I haven't looked in the dictionary, I, well, I did one time, and I think it really does have an N in pronunciation. I, I really, I guess I should have checked it. I, I haven't checked, but of course, it's not come for table, or you could say comfortable, comfortable, but I, I think I do, and I bet a lot of people do just uh, say comfortable, comfortable. the The difference is, it's not much of a difference. Comfortable chairs, comfortable chairs. Sure. Say, I've got to work tomorrow morning. Say. And we say, say at the beginning of a sentence if we want someone to, to pay attention. You know, I'm going to say something that you should listen to. Say, I've got to work. So got to becomes gotta. I've got to work. Say, I've got to work tomorrow morning. But I get off at 11.30. But I, but I, but I get off, but I get off at 11.30. Okay, I'll pick you up at 12.30. And we can grab a burger. We can, we can, we can grab a burger. And of course, burger means hamburger. Grab is figurative, not literal. Well, I don't know. You might grab it. At Mc... I don't know. Anyhow, and we can grab a burger on our way to the pool. On our way. It's not on our way because our is not stressed. It's not that important in the sentence, so we just say it shorter. On our way. We can grab a burger on our way to the pool. So that was a practice in how Americans really speak English, especially informal English. You know, if I were speaking to someone important, I, I might speak a little slower and a little more clearly. But uh, these were two friends talking. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.